welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I am bringing you yet another episode of No Makeup and Chill, The Bare Face Chronicles. I honestly think I've already done an episode of No Makeup and Chill this month. So this month you're gonna get two. Who knows, you might even get three. I do this series at least once a month because I am 50 years old, I'm aging my age, my age, no, my face is aging with me. My age is facing with me. <laughs> That's fun. As you turn, get older, you start saying really weird stuff. Your brain does really fun, flippy, bizarre stuff to you. Anyway, moving on. I just really want to embrace my natural face without any makeup on. I love makeup though. So of course I'm going to continue to do makeup videos here, but I also just want to film videos where I am proud of my bare face or embracing my bare face. I don't know if I'm proud of it, but I'm embracing it in front of you guys, for you guys, whatever. And I want to encourage you guys to do the exact same thing no matter how old you are. I also though feel that if you want to wear makeup all the time, you go with your bad self. It's not any of my business. It's not anybody else's business. You do whatever the hell you want with your face whenever you want, okay, period. Also, I am a little lazy sometimes and I don't always want to get out all the stuff I need in order to film the video and the brushes and I'm just like, no. So I felt like this would be a great series to pull in onto my channel where I just sit down, very chill, very relaxed and chat with you guys, usually about makeup, usually about makeup. And this episode is going to be one of those episodes where I talk to you guys about makeup. I had a day today, okay? A day. Reggie's downstairs yowling. I don't know why he does that. He has not done that once since I got home from work and now he's downstairs yowling. I don't know. So I just kind of felt like I needed to just play with makeup, look at my palettes and because <laughs> I needed to uh, pick me up, lift me up, whatever. I, I just needed that, you know, because I, like I said, I had a day today. <laughs> oh, if another phone rings, I might cry. Okay, so I picked out 30 eyeshadow palettes out of my collection that remind me of winter or that I see winter in when I look at the color story. Now, this can be very polarizing, this type of video. I have seen creators get almost angry about filming a video where they're showing palettes that represent a sp particular season. And to those folks, I want to say, then don't film the video. If it's going to make you angry and you don't understand it, and you think it's stupid, then don't film the video, right? I personally do not base my eye looks on the season all the time, but I do sometimes. And I do know of folks that will play with the palette only during a certain season. And so what? It's their palette, right? I, I really have never understood why people get so bent out of shape over what someone else does with an eyeshadow palette or blush or foundation or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, who cares? I mean, I get it that maybe that's not everybody's, like certain things aren't everybody's favorites. Okay, I get it. But um, I don't know, I think it's really fun to go through my collection and figure out what palettes I have that would uh, work well in a particular season and it's winter right now, okay? So that's why I'm doing this right now and not doing it in July because that would be really weird and wouldn't make any sense. So my goal was to show you like 10 or 15 and I ended up with 30 because I have, like I said, I have a large collection and uh, I don't know, I just thought it would be really fun. Now the color stories that I felt were the most appropriate for winter are blues, icy blues, um, winter themed, maybe like packaging, holiday themed of course, uh, darker palettes, like uh, a little grungy, but like just uh, deeper color stories, uh, maybe kind of gloomy. So that's what I was, that's what I grabbed today. Okay, so these are in no particular order. I did not rank these. No way, I'm just gonna start showing them to you. Okay, so starting off with the Beauty Moon Cosmetics Ice Maiden Palette. I just did a two looks video with this palette. It is absolutely stunning. I really do believe that it is my favorite palette from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. I have a good handful and I love them all. This absolutely says winter, icy, ice maiden to me when I look at this color story. The shimmers in here are just spectacular, very flippy and opaque and very easy to manipulate on the eyelids. I haven't used all the shimmers, but I've used a good few of these. Uh, the mattes are very blendable, very pigmented. They all, well, the ones I've used so far. Have I used all the mattes? Yeah, I have used all the mattes actually, <laughs> just not all the shimmers. Uh, 
all the mats I put, to, well, I didn't put them all together all at once on my eyelids, but the ones I did put together and the both looks that I filmed worked really well together. I was really happy. I love this. I really love it. It's beautiful. I got to get this shade. Uh, this one, this one's called eggnog. I got to get that on my eyelids the next time I play with this. Hmm. Uh, the next one, probably pretty obvious winter choice for a palette or whatever, uh, is the Blue Moon from ColourPop. Now, this I have not used in forever, but because I'm going on a no-buy in 2025, uh, I'm going to be using this palette. I mean, it looks pretty pristine because I think I've only used it maybe two, three times. This shade right here actually broke in half and a big chunk of it fell out. And it was back when I didn't really know how to like repress the shadow back in, so I just threw it away. But there's still enough in there that it's, you know, pretty pretty good amount of eyeshadow. I love this because you've got the depth, the darker blues, the bright blues, the icy blues, and then kind of like this, like this one's kind of a gray, you know, kind of a gloomy blue. This, this kind of too, you know. I just really like the array of blue tones you have in here. Now, I got this palette because I used to be terrified of blue eyeshadows, and this helped me get over that because it was just really easy and fun for me to play with, but I need to play with it again soon. Uh, I have a lot of plans for 2025 that I'm super excited about. The next one is kind of like a cousin to the Blue Moon, and it is the Dallas Mavericks palette. I love the Dallas Mavericks, and I did, I kind of was a sucker for the packaging of this and also the Boston Celtics palette because Boston's my favorite basketball team of all time. Sorry, people that are actually from Boston that might be watching this video. I, Yeah, just tell me to shut up. I'm sure you are screaming at your phone or TV or wherever you're watching me, screaming, shut up. <laughs> okay, back to what we're doing here. I love this because it's got the grays in here with the blues, and it is a more kind of gloomy but icy too. I mean, this really is winter to me. I mean, the grays and the blues, the tones, I think, very wintry, beautiful palette. I'm very impressed with how this is, this has performed for me in the past. It's been a while since I've used this too. I'm planning on changing that in 2025, but yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, this shade right here is my favorite in this palette. It's got, it's almost kind of like a bluey green. It's just stunning. I also grabbed the Blow and Smoke palette from ColourPop because of, you know, black, silver, gray. Like this to me says winter, right? Again, I know, I know this is, just really gets under people's skin. You can wear a palette whenever you want, but the theme of this video is winter palettes, okay? So be kind to me in the comment section, please. Anyway, uh, I've played with this, I think twice. <laughs> This is another palette I've got to get more use out of. And this is, even though I've only played with it a couple times, one of my top favorite from ColourPop in terms of its quality and also in terms of the gradient that you can create. Very cool. Very cool grayscale black palette. I love it. And I think, have I used all the shades? I think I've used all the shades now. I love this. I love it. Can't wait to use it in 2025. Then I picked out the Makeup by Lisa You're Out of This World palette because it's got the really beautiful dark purples, but then also this row of kind of like wineish, wine, wine tones, wineish tones, and then this red, and then you have this beautiful sil silver press glitter that I've actually used as a liner before over the top of like a black felt tip liner. That was really fun. Looked really, really cool. And it stayed really well. Absolutely. I've got to do a video soon where I show how I apply press glitters, which some of you are probably thinking, I know how to apply, apply press glitters. Erica, I don't need you to show me a damn thing, but I, I still would like to show you how I do it. <laughs> if anyone's interested, uh, this is a UK indie brand that I love. I have a couple palettes from this brand. I'd like to get all of their palettes, but of course I can't afford that. But uh, really impressed with how this palette performs. And these two shimmers, upon first glance, they just, oh, they're purple shimmers, but they're duochrome -y. They're very flippy and they're beautiful and very pigmented and just lovely saturation of matte. The matte shades are saturated in pigment. <laughs> the next one is the Exino Cosmetics Valkyrie palette. Uh, Exino Cosmetics and Beautiful Tragedy MUE. I'm not sure who that is. This person here is who I feel like I am on the inside. I just love her. Look at how like viciously badass, gorgeous, sexy she is. 
that's me. Not really, but I like to pretend. This I think is a gorgeous color story. It's got a lot of different options, even though it's only a nine pan palette. I've been very impressed with how this palette performs. This is such a beautiful icy blue shimmer shade. This is lovely. It's white, but it's got this like, well, yeah, it's kind of got this tone to it. This green, like aqua green, I, I think. It's either got this tone or that tone. I think it's that one. This shade is lovely. This beautiful bright silver. And then the mattes in here are really nice too. And they work really well, you know, blendable and pigmented and all that stuff. And I love this brand. This is a brand that's located, I believe, in Las Vegas. So then I wanted to go more holiday themed, of course. And I grabbed my two Ladybug Glow palettes that are holiday themed. I'll start off with the Krampus Continued. Isn't that the cutest outer packaging? I don't know what he is, but he is very cute. Is he a Krampus, maybe? But I, I do and loves him. And this is the color story. Now, I love this because it's a holiday themed palette, but I wouldn't say this is your traditional holiday color story, right? And the shimmers in here are that flippy, gorgeous, opaque, and then the mattes are really nice too. And I like this because you do have like the earthy, grungy depth, but also bright, which I think is great for winter. I really do. This is just a very wintry color story to me. And then the Krampus Eve palette also has my little buddy on the front. And this is a really unique palette because it's all mattes. And then we have this multi-chrome shimmer shade in the center. So what I think is fun to do with this palette is lay down one of the mattes and then put this over the top of it and it changes the tone and it's really fun. I haven't done that nearly enough with this palette. I will be using these palettes together, I think, in an uh, upcoming Throwback Thursday video because I really like to play with my Ladybug Glow palettes. And I, you know, had that idea where I was going to create multiple looks videos with all of my Ladybug Glow palettes. And I think I did like three or four videos and then went pew, a different direction. Maybe I'll do a two looks video th for Throwback Thursday. <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay, then I grabbed the Nabla Platinum Cutie palette. Now, here's the thing. I keep this palette because of this shade right here, this silver shimmer. It's my favorite silver shimmer that I have in my collection. It is so gorgeous. But the rest of these shades, they're just kind of, eh, they're not awful. They're not, but they're not great. They're just kind of middle road, middle of the road. I do think this is a wintry color story. It's darker, it's earthy. You know, I do see these colors out in the wild here in Oregon during the winter. I just am not sure if this is going to last in my collection when I do my palette collection and declutter video. I honestly, though, think that this would be the perfect palette to pull in for like a look for New Year's, like a New Year's Eve party. I just do because of that shade right there. But I just, I don't know. I'm still kicking that around whether I'm going to keep it or not. The next palette is the Cool Trolls from Cosmic Beauty slash Brushes. Now I've used this once. This is coming in a multiple looks video in 2025. Absolutely it is. Uh, and it was funny because when I did the look, I, it was kind of monochromatic and I'm like, well, it's okay. <laughs> but then like I really spent some time like really looking at this palette and like swatching some of the shades, which I suck at swatching. Uh, and I, I don't know, I still, I don't, I mean, I, I do swatch, but anyway, I'm not doing that for this video. Uh, and I thought, what are you talking about? Like, it's gorgeous, Erica. This color story is amazing. You love these kind of cool toned palettes. I love cool toned eyeshadows. And the shimmers in here are so freaking gorgeous. So I decided to not be a total idiot and say that I'm not sure if I like, like this palette or not and really give it a try. And I'm going to, this is going to be coming in January, multiple looks video. Absolutely. Okay. I'm trying not to knock everything down. The next palette, and this I'm not convinced. Well, yeah, I am convinced that it's a wintry color story. Let me explain my logic and then you can tell me in the comment section whether you think I'm right or wrong. This is the Spellbound Beauty Black Magic Bombshell Palette. She is so hot. Whoa, witchy poo. Uh, this color story, I think does say winter or ho maybe holiday. Like uh, I think about like the colors of the ornaments on my Christmas tree my fake Christmas tree, my Charlie Brown fake Christmas tree. And I definitely see all these colors here. And then, you know, there's kind of dark, darker, murkier matte shades. I will say that I was, I've only used this palette once, but I wasn't super like wowed by the mattes. I was very wowed by the shimmers. 
very wowed by the shimmers. And I'll be bringing this into a multiple looks video too. Uh, I, I just think the tones of the shimmers are so beautiful and just, or they kind of almost look like Christmas lights to me, you know? Yeah, I think so. I think this, I think this, this works for this particular video. Then I had to grab my Ozzy Osbourne Bat Palette from Rock and Roll Beauty that was absorbed by Makeup Revolution. I love Ozzy. I love Ozzy. And I just think this color story is very wintry. It's more cool tone, except for there's a couple, well, there's some warmth in here too, but I would say more so cool toned. And then like the, the blues, the black, and then like the burgundies and stuff, even the browns. I do think it's very wintry esque winter esque and then even the shade right here has got like that icy i i'm gonna always keep this palette just because of the packaging uh but i don't know if i'm super in love with it like i was when i first got it i don't know it's been a while since i've used it but the last time i used it i was like hmm. i mean I, I really did like the look and stuff i don't know i'm so finicky sometimes and so wishy-washy who knows then i had to grab my martine cosmetics Martine Cosmetics 669 palette because of the fact that it's so dark, gloomy, wintry. You know, I'm, I'm kind of sounding like it's more Halloween, Halloweenish. Jeez, Halloween esque. There's Halloweenish is not a word. There is Halloweeny. I like to say that too. Anyway, I'm like a seventh grade boy <laughs> inside. Uh, I really have enjoyed playing with this palette, but I haven't played with it in a really long time. And that's gonna change because there's no reason why this palette just sits on my shelf back there. But because my palette or my collection is so humongous, that's why it sits back there on my shelf. I just don't wanna do that anymore. I love the varying tones in here. I love the vampiness, the grungy, the depth, the kind of murky, gloomy, yet absolutely stunning color story. And I really have been impressed with the uh, the formula, the quality of this palette too. And it's really cool. Like it's, you know, just, it's very nice, very fancy. Okay, I got another stack and then this video will be over. Okay, the next one is the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette. I think this is very wintry. It's got the blues and purples and neutrals. And I know that like, I've heard people say that like, I don't understand why they put the neutrals in here. I would have been much happier if they just kept it blue and purple. And you know, I can see that for sure. I really can. But I do like having the neutrals in here because if you are nervous about color, like you haven't really gotten to where you're really into colorful eyeshadows, then you can start with a neutral base and kind of build from there and like dip your toe into the colorful pool with this palette, you know? But I have been super impressed with how the shades in here perform. I love the color story. I do think it's very wintry. I really do. And this is really fun. This is no longer available, but I'm glad I have it in my collection. And I'm going to be doing a multiple looks video with this too. I know. You guys are like, okay, Erica, put your money where your mouth is. Of course, I had to grab the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Longing Palette because this is a cool tone lover's dream. And I do think cool tones are very wintry. And this palette is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. I've used it twice now, I think. So this will get, also needs to come in the multiple looks video. Uh, I just love the depth and I love there's the fact that there's light bl uh, blending out shades in here. You know, you're not just stuck with dark shades. You have some lighter shades because I like to do that. I like to blend my darker shades out with lighter shades. It's just the way I'm the most comfortable doing my eye looks. And the shimmers in here are just stunning. They're these two, especially, well, all of them, but these two are super flippy and just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, love this palette. Here, let me see if I can move some stuff. Uh, oops, put this there. Okay, uh, I'm making a mess in here. I really am. The next palette is the Cosmic Beauty slash brushes, brushes slash beauty, a gothic palette. I love the depth of the purples in here, but also we have the bright purples. And I don't know, this just says winter to me. I don't know why. It just does. I don't know, I think just because of the depth in here. But there's also the bright, I mean, I don't think winter has to be just depth, dark, gloomy. I think you can have bright, icy, shiny shades too in the winter as well. Absolutely, this palette is so gorgeous and does not get near enough love in my collection. 
Love it. Then I also grabbed the Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And honestly, I think I did include this in my fall palette video, <laughs> but I do see winter in here too. The earthy depth. Oh, now I'm looking at it. I really think it's more fall, but I'm not taking it out of the video. Okay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I do. I can see winter in here. I have to say it. Dwalas. Dwalas. I, any chance I get to say that shade name, I say it because I love it so much. <laughs> I just think this is a really lovely color story. And I, I do think the depth and I don't know. Do you guys think this says winter? I do. But also fall. Both. It can be both. I also grabbed the Sweet Shop Bubblegum Palette from BH Cosmetics. Blues galore and so beautiful. And I know I have the Blue Moon and the Dallas Mavericks, and I know. But I will never get rid of these because they're so gorgeous. I have all of them except for the Waffle Cone Palette, and uh, I will hold on to these for the rest of my life. I will. They are so beautiful. It works so well. The gradient, the quality. I love, I mean, I definitely think this is winter. Very wintry. I grabbed this one too, and you might disagree with me, the Scooby-Doo Creeps and Crawls from Glam Light. I think it says winter. The tones in here, I think they're wintry. I really do. And I love this palette. This is my favorite palette from Glam Light. Absolutely. This one in the Rut Row Raggy. Uh, the only thing that I do wish they had done is put in a lighter shade here, like teal or blue. Because you do have the lighter purple. Yeah, I do wish they'd done that. Maybe taken out one of the shimmers. I, I, I haven't even used that shimmer. They could have taken that shimmer out and put a lighter teal or lighter blue shade. Matte. But no one asked me. I'm not on the creative team at Glam Light. <laughs> okay. Uh, Odin's Eye Giant Wolves Palette. Had to pull this in because I do think it's very wintry. I love the how, how it opens like a book. ba ba doo boop boop ba if I start talking weird, I'm going to get really irritated with myself. I can't stand that. <laughs> like, it's okay, Erica. You can get through the end of the video. There's only a few palettes left. Anyway, uh, the color story, I think, is very wintry. Uh, I've been very impressed with how this palette performs. I haven't played with it in a really long time. Got to get off my butt and do that. I love this palette. I think it's gorgeous. I've heard people not love the palette. They don't love the qu uh, quality of the shimmers. I really like them. Then I thought that the W7 My Atlantis palette is a lovely winter-esque palette. It's got cool tones in here, darker tones, and yes, there's the lighter pinks, and maybe that's not really winter. So maybe not the entire palette is wintery, but I do think the darker, uh, like, wine shades, berry shades, even like these two shimmers, I do think it's wintry. I think it passes for winter. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, the Lethal Cosmetics Evergreen Palette. Absolutely, I think this is wintry. Look at the depth in here. Look at the, uh, just, I don't know, more wintry tones. It's hard to explain sometimes what, what winter what winter is in a palette. It is kind of hard to explain. I try, but then I don't know that I succeed. But I do think, like, the tone, I don't know, the tones in here just seem wintry to me. This one, maybe not so much. But, like, these here, this, these. But now I'm seeing spring and summer in here too. <laughs> I don't know. I'm overthinking things. I also grabbed the Unearthly Not Normal palette because I do think this is wintry and spring. <laughs> but I do think there's winter in here. I don't know. I need to quit overthinking it. Just I grabbed it for a damn reason because I felt like it looked like winter when I was pulling these out of my collection. The next one definitely says winter. This is the Nomad Cosmetics Whistler Snow Lodge palette. I mean, hello, very winter, very holiday too, I think. Such a beautiful color story. I love this, the shade combination. You can do so much fun stuff with this palette and your looks are beautiful. Hmm. Love this. And I also did grab another Nomad palette, the Royal Europe, because I also think this is a wintry color story. I also see spring and summer and maybe fall. <laughs> Okay, Erica, knock it off. I do think this is a winter color story. I wouldn't have grabbed it. It may not be the traditional winter color story that we all have expected folks to show in their winter palettes videos. But you know what I'm going to <laughs> Okay, I also grabbed the Club Nebula from Kaleidos in collaboration with Angelica Nikovist. I would say that this part of the palette, like, like if I could scoop out this 
that's more wintry than maybe over here. But again, I do think you can have the bright kind of icy shades, which that's this, I think, even that. I love this so much. Uh, this is a palette that I, I've mentioned this in several videos where like I want to use it, but I also want to keep it like this so that I just like worship at the shrine of the Club Nebula palette rather than using it. And I really want to change that because it's gorgeous and it's really fun to play with. And I've had it for a long time and it's getting older and I'm going to be really sad if like, you know, it goes to pot and I didn't use it enough. That's really going to piss me off at myself. Nobody else, myself. Uh, the next palette is my favorite uh, neutral palette in my collection. The Stone Cold Fox from ColourPop. I love this. This is so beautiful. It's a cool tone lover's dream. It's, you know, obviously very neutral, but it's beautiful. And I always say this, there are some kind of repeat shades in here, but they're different textures. You know, they're like either satin or, or shimmer or matte. So to me, that all works together very, very well. And uh, love it. I think it's beautiful. It's been really fun to play with needs to be played with some more uh gosh this is getting out of control in here my desk is not made to have this many palettes on it so just stay up desk stay up <laughs> this is my daughter's old desk from high school uh the aurora struck palette from ColourPop. i also felt like was a good winter themed color story i do there's lots of winter in here even the lighter tones, I think, are very wintry. This is so gorgeous. I'm so happy I picked this up. I got this uh, during one of their Mega Palette sales, and I was like, well, I have those colors elsewhere. Do I really? Well, I'd seen people play with it. I was like, okay, I'm just. it was on a good sale. And I. this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. One of my best makeup purchases, palette-wise, I feel so beautiful. Cannot wait to play with this again. I've done a three looks video with it and really like the looks that I put together and just really looking forward to playing with it again. Then I have two more palettes and I'm finished. The Midnight Palette from Beauty Bay. It's huge, but I mean, winter, hello. Not just the blues too, I think the purples as well. Absolutely winter. I did do a four looks video with this and it's been sitting over there since I did that four looks video. No, actually I did pull it into a collab. Yeah, but oh, needs a ton more love. <laughs> ton more love and it's just gorgeous. The quality is so lovely. Oh, it's so fun to play with. And my last one is the Naughty Palette from BH Cosmetics. I don't have a lot of holiday-themed palettes in my collection, just a, just a few. Now, the thing that's so heartbreaking about mine is that the shade right here called Candied Fruit fell out on my carpet. <laughs> I was filming, like, my top five. I used to do those shorts, top five BH Cosmetics palettes, and I open this up and I'm like being cutesy and I have my head around the side of the palette. I'm saying whatever malarkey that was coming out of my mouth and uh, didn't even notice it had broken. I go to edit my short and I'm like, what the hell? And I look down at my feet and it's all over the carpet. <laughs> it's like, oh, and that was my favorite shade in this palette. And honestly, I've almost decluttered this because I was so irritated that this broke out and I, I can't do that. It's a gorgeous palette, beautiful color story love all the tones in here really a fun palette and it's a really nicely formulated palette too this is one of bh cosmetics best palettes i would say so yes i'm heartbroken that that shade fell out it used to make me like physically sick <laughs> when i would see i'm like oh my god i lost candy fruit but you know i've gotten over that sort of and i'm not going to get rid of it that that palette will not be going when i do my palette collection and declutter video oh or videos maybe i don't know we'll see i might mm, uh, I'm going to try to do it in all one video. We, we shall see. Uh, what do you guys think of the palettes I chose for this video? Do you think they're wintry or do you, are you thinking, no, 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 no. Uh, let me know which palettes out of this you have in your collection. And also let me know in the comment section what other palettes you like to use in the winter time. And also let me know if you're the type of person that doesn't, doesn't ever do their uh eyeshadow looks based on the seasons or if you do do that I support either or I am not going to ever debate that I think that is really goofy when people get really bent out of shape over this concept I just think it's really fun it's fun to like bring in palettes that you think look like winter even though I think some of mine were totally off the mark 
Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I'd love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I will see you soon. Bye. Drop it.